So we are researcher to reader. We have readers. Readers are reading. And one of the most natural things for a reader to do when they've read their article is to flow on to read the references of their article. Now, as for many reasons that we all know about from, from uh, our history in this, in this industry, those articles, those references, will often be on lots and lots of different systems. Those different systems will be different publishers, they'll have different authentication systems, different UX. So what does this mean for our beloved reader? It means they could be in for a bit of a trying time because they'll take their first reference, they'll go to that other site, they may or may not get access, they'll go and come back, try the next reference, navigate that authentication system, see what happens, they may or may not get access and they'll come back. This can be very frustrating for the reader. It also can be uh, a scene of temptation because at that point the reader could think, hey, um, I'm going to grab these DOIs and I'm going to go and put them into Sci-Hub and do something else instead and download my PDFs. And then we've lost them from our lovely publishing ecosystem. So this is a problem for a couple of reasons. Um, as Antonia mentioned in her talk yesterday about our uh, the, uh, turbulent times that we're in at the moment, and there's a real, real need for our publishers for, for uh, revenue diversification. We want to keep our users online and engaged to help with that. Also, as, as a platform provider like I am, um, I really believe that the, the, the online experience can be so much more rich and powerful for that discovery flow than downloading a PDF. It's instantly stale, not updated. We don't know what's going on with it. So let's keep our users online. How do we do that? Enter GetFDR with a very uh, cheeky smile that I think suggests that everything is going to be OK. We can certainly, I think it's certainly going to help. Um, so what is GetFTR? It stands for Get Full Text Research. And what it is, is a service that all our platforms can use to do real-time enticement checks. So the way that it works is based on the user's institution. So if I'm reading something, I will have an IP address. That might mean that I'm within an institution. I also might have used a federated login system to log into my institution, so via Shibboleth, which some of you will know about. That's two bits of information that can be sent to get FTR to say, hey, this is me, and do I have access to this DOI? Do I have access to this DOI? Do I have access to this DOI? It's a central service for providing that uh, real-time entitlement check. And what does that mean? It means that we, as platform providers, can put reference indicators on the references to tell the user which things are they going to have access to and which maybe they're not. All about trying to remove that fear, uncertainty, that frustration from this flow, from the thing you're looking at, to the references. So I'm just going to give you a few examples here. This on the, on the right hand side here, the blue button is, is the indicator and the little circle, the little icon there is the thing that's telling the user you're going to have access to this thing. And when you scroll over that, there'll be a tooltip. And in this case, the tooltip says available for free, everyone to read. So it's not just that we're saying which things are you going to have access to. We're also saying this is why you will have access to this thing. So the user understands what's happening. So that's the free version. We have another one, which is the open access version. Same deal. And then the next one here, this is where based on my AP address or my login that I've already done, we can see that the access is provided by your institution. So again, I can see, great, I know I can go to this site and access this reference and everything's going to be fine. If GetFDR doesn't find access, we don't put up some big banner saying, don't go there, this is going to be awful. We just don't add in the little funky icon and we don't put the tooltip on that. So this is still a great, this is just the normal Crossref DOI or lookup. You can go and read it, read the article, but you might not get full text access. So that's where we're at right now. A little sneak preview coming up here. We're also going to add in retraction information to this so that the user will be able to see which of these references have been retracted or indeed updated or corrected. And all of this is the whole mission of all of this is, of course, to try to add to this idea that the online experience, so streamlining that discovery flow for the user is better online where they have all these powerful, rich tools for exploring further the, the research that they're in. Lots and lots of further conversations we can have around this. Uh, there's lots of metrics we've got we can talk about. A key thing I want to pull out here, though, is that 60% of scholarly content, as is 60% of DOIs, are already covered by GetFTR. We would really like to increase that number up because this is a feature where scale really matters to the user. Of course, the more DOIs that are covered by this, the more the user can rely on those indicators, and, and so the more this, this actually 
delivers that value to, to the researcher. There is also a browser extension that you can anyone can download uh, right now, and that will mean that um, if you go to say uh, discovery services like Google Scholar, you will see these indicators on those services, so you can try this out yourselves. Uh, any questions, do please come and ask myself or Diane from GetFDR is also here over there. Um, so yeah, come and see us if you've got any questions. Thank you.